Hi guys, it's Nisha. As you might have guessed from the title of this video, I have a little bit of a secret to share with you. I have a cookbook coming out and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've been keeping it under wraps for the last 10 months or so, so I'm finally able to share it with you and so let me tell you all about it. First things first, it is called the Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook because it's a cookbook full of vegan instant pot recipes. Second, uh, it is out on June 11th for sale, June 11th of this year, so in about three and a half months, but you can pre-order your copy on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles or any other variety of places, and I've included pre-order links in the description box below, so I would really appreciate it if you checked it out and if you feel so inclined to purchase a copy. And most importantly, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to the Rainbow Plant Life community here on YouTube as well as on Instagram and my blog because writing this book would certainly not have been possible without all of your support every single day. I appreciate it so much. Oh, just got a little emotional. Thank you so much to, oh my gosh, why am I crying? I mean, they're happy tears, so I guess it's good, but it was really embarrassing. Um, <laughs> this has been a dream of mine since I was young to sort of be a chef and work in food and write a cookbook and to have my dreams, oh my God, to have my dreams. <laughs> oh. Writing a cookbook, working in food has been a lifelong dream of mine that, you know, it took me a little while to get here, but without your support, I would wouldn't be here, so thank you. And I'm really excited to share this cookbook with you. And once I compose myself, I will tell you all about what's inside the cookbook. All right, I have composed myself, and I promise not to cry anymore in this video. So I'll just give you a little background on how this book came to be. About a year ago, a editor from Penguin Random House, a shout out to Lucia, my editor, contacted me and asked me if I'd like to write a cookbook for them. Knowing that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity, I said, yes, of course I would like to do that. As some of you know, I do have a full-time job outside of Rainbow Plant Life, outside of doing YouTube and Instagram and my blog. So between that, and the cookbook, it just became really difficult to film videos. So that's kind of why I took a hiatus from making videos last year and have been a little bit slower than usual in uploading. So thank you for sticking with me and I hope you now understand that it's not because I don't love you guys in making videos, it's just that I didn't have quite enough hours in the day. Now for what's inside the cookbook. Again, it's the Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook. It's authorized by Instant Pot. That means it's official. You'll be able to find it on their website when it's for sale. And the theme of the book is wholesome, indulgent vegan recipes. So everything tastes super delicious, sometimes even rich, but everything is made with wholesome, nourishing, plant-based ingredients. There are a few exceptions in there that are a bit more decadent than the others, but everything is 100% vegan. There's a pretty substantive introductory section that teaches you everything you'd want to know about the Instant Pot, how to use it, how to get the most out of your machine, different little tips and tricks, as well as tips on vegan cooking and making the most out of a plant-based kitchen. Then there's seven chapters of recipes. There's a pantry staples recipe that has recipes for condiments and broths that are way more flavorful than store-bought. There's also a whole breakfast chapter. I really recommend making the coconut yogurt. It's amazing. There's also a side dishes and vegetables chapter that are really great for meal prep. And then there's my favorite chapter, the comfort food main dishes, which are things like lasagna and mac and cheese and paella, they're really, really good. Then there's a chapter with soups and curries, with a lot of global inspiration, both from my own Indian heritage, but also from my travels abroad. And finally, there is a desserts chapter because I love dessert and it's actually really easy and awesome to make dessert in your Instant Pot. To get you excited about this book and the Instant Pot in general, I'm sharing another vegan Instant Pot recipe today. It's for a white bean quinoa chili. It's super simple to make. All you need to do is saute a few ingredients before adding everything else and letting the Instant Pot do the magic. It's really hearty and comforting while it's still cold outside, but still quite healthy and made with nourishing ingredients. Before I get to the recipe, just a few things. If you are excited about my cookbook, I hope you are, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and head to one of those pre-order links in the description box below to grab your copy before it's on sale, maybe for yourself or your friend or your family member who really likes the Instant Pot. 
And if you have suggestions for future video topics, including Instant Pot recipes or things you'd like to know about the Instant Pot, leave me a comment down below. All right, here's my recipe for Instant Pot white bean quinoa chili. I'm starting this chili off like I do most of my savory recipes by preparing the aromatics, onions, fresh garlic, and jalapeno peppers. After you heat up some olive oil on the saute setting of your Instant Pot, add the onion and allow it to soften for a few minutes. Then add the garlic and jalapenos until they're fragrant. Pour in about half of the vegetable broth. This is to deglaze the pot and scrape up any of the brown bits on the bottom. Then you'll add a spice mixture along with the rest of the vegetable broth, canned cannellini beans, uncooked quinoa, corn, and canned chili peppers. You'll seal the Instant Pot and select the pressure cook or manual setting for six minutes. Since the beans are already cooked, the chili just needs a little bit of time to cook the quinoa and meld all of the flavors together. Allow a natural pressure release for 15 minutes before moving the steam release valve from sealing to venting. This final step is optional, but to give your chili extra creaminess and richness, pour in some light coconut milk. And to give it a final bite of freshness and balance out the creaminess, squeeze in some fresh lime juice. I like to top my chili with avocado, crushed tortilla chips, cilantro, and vegan sour cream. Now it's time to dig in. 